Hi guys, this is Fernando. Uh, in this video tutorial, I want to show you how I set up the uh, Vermont Verde interior illumination. Um, the first thing that I want to show you is the composition of my scene. Because depending on the composition of your scene, you have to make some decision about uh, related to the illumination that you are going to use. If you are going to use uh, more natural light or more artificial light. In this scene, I have two big windows in front of the uh, scenes. And also, in the other area, I have two other windows. So, uh, by looking this scene, I understand that I have a good chance to get a really nice natural light coming through the windows uh, and illuminating my scenes. So, at, it, at that moment, I think that with the sun, I will get enough illumination to illuminate my interior. If I need some, actually, you are always going to need artificial lights, then you have to apply the artificial lights. My workflow is set up first the light with most contribution in the scene and then the other lights. So um, in my options, I will click default because I will start with the default setting. I actually like the our default setting. I will get select the get aspect radio in order to have the exactly the same aspect radio of my uh, SketchUp viewport. And usually I start with the um, override material. I set up the illumination without any material and then I refine the illumination when I apply all the material. So I want to create a, a render with this uh, default setting and based on the result of this um, default setting, I can make some decision of what I have to do. If I have, if I, if I have to increase the, the brightness or reduce the brightness, so I can make some decision depending on the uh, uh, amount of illumination that I have. Okay, I'm going to pause the video until the final render done. Okay, this is the final render. It's kind of dark. Um, actually, I want to point out that I'm using low quality so uh, in order to uh, speed up the render. Um, but I have to make some decisions, especially in the physical camera, because we have the physical camera to control the exposure of the sun. So the first thing that I want to do is increase the intensity of my scene, or the brightness of my scene. I usually go to the shooter speed and reduce the shooter speed to increase the brightness. So I want to set up my shooter speed to 30, my shooter speed, and I will let the other value like that. Usually when I am rendering some interior, um, my shooter speed uh, value are between 20 and 40. So for interior uh, rendering. So I will render right now to see what we have. There we go, this is the final render. I think that we have enough illumination here. Also my sun is kind of bright here. Uh, so I cannot increase the uh, spatula a little bit more. I need more natural light. Usually the people try put some um, rectangular lights on the windows in order to get the more natural light. I usually don't do that. I have another workflow. So in our new plugin, new build, the default light is actually the our sun. So now you can have a combination between the sun and the environment. So I will enable the default lights. So that means that I am enable the sun. So I, I will still I still have in the sun there. And in the GI I have the sun. So I don't want to use two sun or or that's not my sense that I have the sun here in the M in the GI if I enable the default light. So I will disable the sun in my GI and I'm going to use the GI 
to throw more natural light. So right now I have the GI environment uh, with the bluish color. So I'm going to reduce a little bit the color and I will increase this value to 40 in order to throw more natural light in my interior. But I have another problem. This area here is very wide, it's washed out, it's burned out my, my floor. So I have to reduce, to reduce the, the intensity of the white area or on the bright area. So if you go to the color mapping, you have a brighter multiplier. The frame hard um, um, mapping, color mapping, is a, a combination between linear and exponential. If the bright value is one, the result is linear. If the bright value is close to zero, the result is exponential. So I will reduce this value to 0.35 in order to reduce my brighter area. So I think I'm good right now. And I will click another render to see my final result. So in this way, I have more natural light using the GI instead of apply or place rectangular lights on my windows, I want to use the GI. So I increase the intensity of my GI and reduce the uh, burn value in order to reduce the intensity of my sun in my floor. So here you go, you can see here, I have a brighter, uh, interior because I increased the intensity of my natural light, in this case, the environment. Um, I'm still having the sun here because I have the sun enabled by default using the default lights. So this is pretty nice because you can have a sun using the default light and also an HDRI if you want in the GI color or even just the plain GI to produce more natural lights. In this way, you don't have to place a rectangular light inside of every single windows. Okay, this is, I think this is a pretty nice uh, render. It's a pretty nice interior. I like the result. Um, the only thing that I want to do right now is just put some spotlight in my ceiling and also some rectangular lights in those cavity here and in this cavity to add more natural light, I mean artificial light in my render. So you can see here in my render, I have some spotlight here or IS light there. And also I have rectangular lights in this area and also in this area. Okay, uh, we want to make the final render and see what we have. There we go. Uh, this is a final render. Um, maybe it's kind of bright, but remember my scene is kind of dark material. So as soon as you apply the material, you're going to have a really nice illumination. This is the way how I, how I set up the Vermont Verde interior. So it's pretty nice, pretty clean. You can see the final result. This is a raw render without any um, Photoshop or post-processing. So you can see the, omni, the spotlight here, the rectangular lights in the ceiling. The other stuff to create a really nice interior or really nice render is your material. You have to keep working in the material in order to get a really a very realistic material. So this is Fernando. I hope you can enjoy this video and see you next time. Bye bye.